with all this spirituality happening, mm -hmm. I'm curious, what is your take on how that relates to pain to sip? Is there some sort of spiritual component? Hmm. You know what? Yes, I think there is. Um, so the reason why, there's a few reasons why I've been here at Purple Easel for such a long time, but um, I believe in the um, creating content for the greater good. Mm -hmm. And so Purple Easel is a paint and sip, but we, I think we take ourselves, the employees, and we really elevate the experience because we're trying to create long lasting memories for your birthday, for uh, graduation, for this and that. And then sometimes we cut, uh, customers come in and they say, oh, you know, my, I, a recent customer actually was like, oh, my grandma just passed, but her name is, her seat saved, like right here. And I was like, oh, maybe it's a sign. And then I'll talk to customers about some pretty deep stuff, like mm -hmm. maybe someone who just passed or someone's just moving. But I like to think that we're creating like a bond, like a special um, positive, bond for the greater good of society somehow that we're taking these moments and we're making memories so someone can be on their 50th birthday but like, oh my gosh remember when we went to that paint sip mm -hmm. it was such a good times with our friends oh remember so and so and it just it's part of um the collective consciousness if that makes any sense i hope that made sense it does okay. i think <laughs> just the act of creating mm -hmm. and it's a little bit different when you do it in your home in a space mm -hmm. that you're used to there's something about going somewhere yeah like when you go to a church service you're taking the time and focusing on that one thing mm -hmm. so i think coming here or even if you do do it online but setting aside that time getting your supplies ready putting the video on whatever it is you're putting yourself in a certain mental space yeah that you don't necessarily necessarily get to achieve otherwise yeah and i think having that community of people experiencing it and then having us to kind of guide mm -hmm. the experience really kind of takes it up a notch too yeah so i can totally see that and it, it's a moment to work on yourself oh yeah anytime you're creating you're you're doing something for yourself yes absolutely I find that throughout the day, we have all of this noise that's kind of in the background and we try to um, get away from it by creating art. So while you're in the mojo, when you're in your, your, your thing and you're creating all the voices and all the kind of negativity that you have surrounding your life goes away and it like goes down, 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 and you're in a nice quiet place. Why is that when you're creating? Because you're focused on one thing and you ignore the demons day to day with the hustle and bustle of life. But in those moments, mm -hmm. you're actualized. You are in it. You are the physicality mm -hmm. of the creation as well as the mental, spiritual, everythingness mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. what you are accomplishing yeah especially taking a blank canvas to a finished work and that sense of accomplishment that you have even if there are doubts along the way yeah or frustrations or whatever you will, have them. you will definitely have them but i think that's what we work through here at purple easel mm -hmm. it's it's transcendent it is very much a mind body soul experience mm -hmm. creating in general um, so we would love to hear your experience with that. Thank you for watching this clip of Spotlight with Purple Easel. We're our instructors at SoCal's largest paint sip studio. Check out purpleeaselplus.com to join the largest online paint and sip community. Mm -hmm. And you want to make sure to like, subscribe, follow, ring that bell, add to the conversation, comment below, and check out our full episodes at Purple Easel Spotlight. We'll see you soon.